Good evening. This is Suffragist for the night of February 9th. A reading from 1 Corinthians. Do you not know that wrongdoers will not inherit the kingdom of God? Martin Luther preached. There are two kingdoms. The first is a kingdom of the devil. In the gospel, the Lord calls the devil a prince of this world, that is, of a kingdom of sin and disobedience. Now all of us dwell in the devil's kingdom until the coming of the kingdom of God. However, there is a difference. The godly are also in the devil's kingdom, but they daily and steadfastly contend against sins and resist the lusts of the flesh and the allurements of the world. After all, no matter how godly we may be, the evil desire always wants to master us and overcome us. God's kingdom unceasingly engages in combat with the devil's kingdom. The members of the former are preserved and saved because they fight against the devil's kingdom in order to enlarge the kingdom of God. The other kingdom is that of God namely a kingdom of truth and righteousness, of which Christ says, but strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness. What is God's righteousness? It is when there is no longer any sin in us, when all our members, talents, and powers are subject to God and are employed in his service, enabling, enabling us to say with Paul, it is no longer I who live, but it is Christ who lives in me. That happens when we are ruled not by sin, but only by Christ and his grace. Thus God's kingdom contains, consists only of peace, discipline, humility, purity, love, and every kind of virtue, and is devoid of wrath, hatred, bitterness, unchastity, and the like. Therefore, let all persons test themselves to see whether they are inclined in this or in that direction, and they will know to which kingdom they belong. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. 
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Everlasting God, you give strength to the weak and power to the faint. Make us agents of your healing and wholeness, that your good news may be known to the ends of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Dear Jesus, as a hen covers her chicks with her wings to keep them safe, protect us this night under your golden wings for your mercy's sake. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, comfort the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And the peace of Christ be with you always.